there! In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can use eLink's RSS Feed Reader to read and create beautiful content. Go to eLink and click on the RSS Feed tab above. The first thing you'll want to do is click on Add RSS Feed. Here, you can sort by categories or search for the publications you trust. Once you find the source you want to add, click on Follow. Your feed will be added to the root level of your folders. Once you click it, you'll see a Follow Again button. This allows you to follow the feed multiple times. This should only be used when you have collaborators who are working together and have their own RSS feed folders that they're working out of. You also want to use this Follow Again button when you're creating Power Posts and Automated Posts, which we'll show you in a bit. If you don't find a publication you need, simply search for the RSS feed URL on Google and paste it in this field. Then click on Add Feed. If you need help, you can message us in our in-app chat at any time, and our team will be happy to help you. Let's close out of this pop-up, and you'll see the feed we just added is showing up on the left-hand side. You can create a new folder by clicking this icon to organize it. If you want to move it to a folder, simply drag it below that folder and drag it slightly to the right and then let go. You'll see that your feed is nestled in the folder. You can also create as many subfolders as you need to organize your feeds by clicking on the three dots next to any folder and selecting Add Subfolder in the dropdown. In this dropdown menu, you can also rename your folder or delete your folder and all of its contents. Now that the RSS feed has been set up and organized, let's move over to the main panel where you can search your feeds for keywords. There's also an option for you to choose the visual default display you prefer to view your links. You can select the standard listing view, tile view, or tight list view. You can click on any article to read further details about it and scroll down the article to visit the website. You can share your blog post on social media, or you can select your article to bundle it and create a content collection out of it. Let's close this article and explain further. Essentially, you can select any article from either inside the article side panel that we were just in, or from the listing view by clicking this checkmark box. You'll see that your item counter will show how many articles you've selected. You can continue to search and add articles. Once you're done selecting your articles, you can save these articles to your bookmark library to access them later, or you can click on Build Post to turn your curated articles into content. For this tour, let's click on Build Post. eLink's editor will open displaying the RSS feed articles we've just created a content collection around. You can continue adding web links inside of the editor by adding web links manually in this field. You also have the option of collecting and adding links from your bookmark manager. Or you can open up your RSS feed and add articles directly from this quick pop-up. Once you're done, you can click on the next tab header. Here you can add a header banner, introductory text, and you can also add footer text. Next, let's move on to the layout section. Impress your audience by choosing from over 50 plus beautiful responsive layouts to make your content look amazing. The best part is, is that you can come back at any time to update your layout even after it's been published. On the last step, you can personalize the look and feel of your content to make it stand out by selecting a theme color, text color, background color, heading font, and body font. You can also customize the button text. There's also an option to make your content SEO friendly or private. Private content can't be crawled by search engines. Once you're done, simply hit publish. You'll see the various ways you can share your e-link post.
You can share it with your world as a single web page. You can share it as an email newsletter through just about any third-party email provider like MailChimp, Gmail, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, Zapier, and many more. Or you can embed it on your website or blog. We have one last pro tip for you, and that is how to create a power post from your RSS feed sources. A power post is an automated content widget that you can embed on a website or blog, or you can run as a single web page that will automatically update with new content. Let's show you how this amazing time saving feature works. Go to eLink and click on the post section. Here, click on Create Post and select Power Post. You can start from scratch or use a template. For this example, let's start from scratch. You'll see that eLink's editor will open up, but with a twist, you'll see a source section. Here, you have the option of automating your Power Post with your RSS feeds or your bookmarks. Let's click on the RSS feeds. You'll see that there's an option to choose a folder you can choose an RSS feed folder that you've created or a single RSS feed. Essentially, any new content that's been added to those feeds will update your content automatically. For this example, let's choose this tech news folder. You'll see your content automatically populating on the right side preview. If you want to add further content filters, you can do so by adding keywords to include and exclude. Be careful here that you don't want to make your filters too narrow. If you do that, it's possible that no information will display. You can also choose the display. Best results means that your keyword filters will be applied first and then the most recent. Most recent means the opposite, where the most recent is applied first and then the keyword filters. There's also an option to only choose content that displays images. Once you're done setting up your sources, you can customize your header section. Then you can move ahead and choose a layout. If you're embedding an RSS feed widget on the right sidebar of your website, you want to choose a single column layout, like Tully or Bagum. On the other hand, you may want to choose a masonry wall if you're creating a single news page or embedding your RSS feed powered widget on your website or blog. For this example, let's go ahead and choose Vigo. Next, you can customize your settings. Go ahead and customize your theme settings. Once you're done, click on Customize Links. There's an important field here that you should know about called Max Links. This field allows you to choose the maximum number of links displayed. This is important when you're creating a page or embedding content on your website so that your content doesn't continue to grow beyond the space or scroll area that you want for your audience. Continue working through your settings to make your content perfect and ready for publishing. Now that we're done, let's click on the preview icon on the top bar to see how our page looks. Everything looks perfect. Let's exit the screen and publish our post. You'll see the various ways that you can share your e-link post. You can share it with your world as a single web page, but you can't share your power post via newsletter as the content changes so frequently. However, you can embed it on your website or blog. Here's an example of how a masonry wall looks. Here's an example of how a right side widget listing looks. Here's another example of how a right side widget card looks. And here's a final example of how a widget looks in the body of your page. The best part about RSS feed powered posts is that they update automatically without you having to do anything. Reading and creating beautiful content from RSS feeds has never been easier. To learn more about eLink, go to our eLink Academy and watch our other videos to start bookmarking and creating content with web links in minutes.